choose Sit, Buddha, Compassion, or Fat Buddha. How choose? The one that has a large percent of fat on his body and can live for a long time on it. Why are you going to fit the one that have not much fat on his body? Why are you going to fan it? The ones who have more than enough or the ones that need to maybe more or have not. It is better to feed the ones that are in the feet than the ones that are overfound. In other words, it is time we are going to stop the insanity. That we need to st stop the seven years of gluttony and then getting the seven years of famine. We need to stop this circle. This world have enough for anybody's need, but not enough for anybody's greed. One pound of wheat can provide one kilo of wheat can provide six hundred pound of uh, Satan. One kilogram of wheat. It's not enough to produce one kilogram of animal flesh or even 600 kilograms of animal flesh. Not even of the best conferring substance like chicken, according to some studies. It's a, a, a chicken. It's around the same amount of food as a child, of a human child, a day, around so 12 to 1,500 calories a day. That's how much chickens eat. So why filtering the nutrients through somebody else's body instead of eating the good healthy stuff itself without all the cholesterol which all without all animal suffering again it takes from 5 to 26 amount of plant product to produce one pound of animal flesh dependent on the statics you use if you're going to use the more realistic or the more conservative Eat more plants, less animals. Animals are anima. Anima means spirit, means living being. There are living beings just like you, have a central nervous system connected to a brain. And the most wise of the people eat one thing that are lower on the food chain, the plants. The most foolish of all people thinks that the eating of animals higher on the food chain, defining the laws of energy conservation. Fools like Donald Trump and Kim Jong Un. Fools like all oh, those kings and queens of today. And the kings and queens of the Middle East and the Middle Age. The kings and queens of Europe. Yes. All the, the glorious people that we say that are glorious. The most noble people on the planet are vegan. And if that statement shocks you or brings feelings of animosity against me, I will say to you. Learn to have some self-reflection. Develop your third eye. Use empty feet with water 
your seat of empty. The more you use it, how more effective and more how better you become in it. But don't confuse empathy with foolishness. People who have no compassion deserve no compassion in return. They deserve to be imprisoned. And maybe they should learn this in another way. But be treated like they treat their victims. Maybe then, for the first time in their life, they understand how it feels to be treated like nothing. Like the life that matter it all. That they are just a tool, a thing. Maybe their uh, baby should be stolen away from them. Maybe they should be cut in pieces. Hear how their loved ones are screened for their life. In agony and pain. Like the cows, chickens and turkeys in the slaughterhouse. Many animals in nature live in a kind of symbiotic relation with each other. Like the pistol shrimp and the goby fish. Looking out for each other. And with hippos and algae eaters. You can say that give the hippos one saloon treatment when they take all out of uh, all the, tr the dirty material that is on the. We need to evolve and we need to get this wonder back that we did get. What we have. Most of us, at least, when we did grow up and when we were a small child and looked at the world, looked at all the animals that we loved to play with. Before our parents were telling us deceitful things, that we are superior, that we are so much more important that we can punish them for no reason and without punishment. That's the definition of systematic oppression, genocide and hatred. Because whatever you are the victim. Again. That's how we watch this world. That's how we should watch this world. If we want to have to throw the peace on the planet, feed people on a plant based on governments, stop wasting all the governmental monies money on the planet to products people don't need to eat that destroys the environment. The risks. There come one day that you need to take a position that's not a popular, it's not a politically correct or safe. But you need to take it because it is the right thing to do. It takes just two, three weeks to change your pleasure of your tongue. Your taste pleasure. And after that, you are not missing it. It's like kicking off of drugs. Stop being a monster with gluttony. Be a peason of respect, kindness. Place yourself in others. And how can you hurt? Shanus. In one story, Sir Genus did learn from his mother how he was transformed into a cat to treat all other living beings on the planet with kindness and respect. Papati turned herself in a cat 
and Chinooks was a bad boy and that hurt the little cat. Later, when he was back at home, Chinoosh did see his mother hurt and Chinooks was asking to his mother Poverty and shocked what was, ha was happening. And his mother say that she would turn herself in account and that he well, did hurt her. From that day on, Chanoush did uh, never hurt an animal again and treat them with kindness. I like that story. Guess that's how we should act.